Hi, welcome to quadratic probing. The quadratic probing is one of open addressing technique which is uh, taking the original hash value uh, like h dash of k given input key equal to k key mod m table size. Okay, if the slot is not found, then we will add successive values of an arbitrary quadratic polynomial until empty slot is found in the hash table. So here we are adding the uh, polynomial uh, term which is quadratic term with the already uh, found in the found the hash key in the first uh, uh, term. Uh, with that we will add the quadratic polynomial term then again we will apply the uh, mod m so this to be repeated until the empty slot found in the hash table to store the given value the clustering is less serious uh, in uh, quadratic probing but even though uh, there is possibility of secondary clustering secondary clustering in the sense uh, there is the possibility of creating a big size of clusters in linear probing uh, it have it has created uh, small uh, clusters but here there is the possibility of big clusters because of uh, we are using a quadratic term here so uh, quadratic term it will increment like uh, i equal to 1 1 square uh, 2 square so it will be uh, 4 so which is jumping into the uh, fourth location from first location uh, then if you use the 3 3 square so it is jumping into the ninth location so like that there is the possibility of secondary clustering in the uh, quadratic probing so now uh, uh, initially the uh, probing will start from the original hash location the hash location is here this is the original hash location we will calculate if empty slot is not found on this uh, first location then we have to go for uh, adding polynomial term let's consider this example uh, the original location is found here um, by using the hash function uh, if empty slot is not found then we will go for uh, probe sequence by using the quadratic uh, polynomial term so the table is given here suppose i am having the value of 5 uh, then here 15 uh, 20 then 25 so now when i am applying the hash uh, hash value uh, for some uh, uh, for some suppose uh, uh, 0 uh, mod uh, ten, uh, 10 right so here i will get 0 so in the 0th index already the data is filled so if data is filled then there is the possibility of collision so what to do we have to go for the next probe sequence 1 square right the hash value already found here 0 the 0 plus 1 square mod then uh, the tab table size n so st still if it is full so look at that the index 1 uh, index 1 is also full right it will give 0 plus 1 uh, mod uh, uh, n is here we are taking uh, 10 so this is also will give you 1 so 1 is also filled then what to do so we have to go for next probe sequence uh, 2 square so 0 plus 2 square then uh, mod the m value 10 then now it is 4 right so the, now the, uh, you look at that uh, which is jumping 2 slots which is jumping two slots in linear probing immediately it will access the uh, successive slot in uh, successive empty slot okay but here jumping uh, jumping into next two locations or nine locations based upon this uh, probe sequence so we have to do this uh, continuously until the empty uh, bucket is found in the has table we will see one example now to insert the sequence of numbers which are acting as a data and also key so first uh, we will take the hash function the hash function is uh, here uh, h dash of k equal to k mod m uh, here the key is now initially 10 is going to be inserted in the empty table so empty table is um, we are considering here the empty table is given then in the empty table i am going to insert the first value 
10 so 10 mod 7 so the 3 so in the 3 uh, index as of the empty table which is free so it is inserted into the the index number 3 then i am going to insert the 30 so 30 mod 7 2 so 2 is uh, now s yes of uh, now free uh, 2 is free so 30 is inserted at the index number uh, 2 index number 2 right so then uh, i am going to insert the next number 16 this is the uh, uh, key uh, this is the key key mod 7 so as per this step key mod at 7 the uh, index i mean now uh, hash value is 2 in the hash value 2 already data is filled so bucket is overflowing collision occurs so if collision occurs we have to apply the probe sequence initially we will take i equal to 0 means again you will get same value that means you look at that uh, here 7 plus 0 square again uh, mod uh, then uh, 7 so you will get the uh, again as uh, same uh, value right so now uh, what we are doing we are taking the 7 plus 1 square uh, right uh, 7 plus 1 square mod 7 so now you are accessing that you will get the value uh, uh, here index value is uh, sorry here not 7 2 uh, 2 right so 2 mod 7 here you will get the same value here also 2 right so here also 2 that this has value this has value 2 2 plus 1 square mod 7 so we will get the 3 so 3 uh, we are checking now uh, as of this step 3 is already filled already filled so 3 is also filled so what we are doing uh, we have to search for another sequence we will increment the i value by 1 so i value is now 2 so the index value the h of index value we found in the first step by using this method 2 so 2 plus I, I square 2 square then we are getting uh, here uh, 6 mod 7 6 mod 7 we are getting the index value 6 as of now say index value 6 is free so I am going to insert the 16 at the location of 6 right then I am in inserting the next value 46 mod 7 4 so fourth index is free now so I am inserting the uh, 46 at the fourth location then I am uh, checking the uh, 35 35 mod 7 is 0 as of now 0th index is free so i am going to insert the 35 at the 0th location so like this we can insert the uh, uh, data by using the quadratic probing here the thing is which is uh, using the i square so it is not checking the empty slots linearly it it jumps some number of locations uh, using the probe sequence which is very efficient to handle the hashing but there is the possibility of secondary clustering be, uh, when the two keys are having the same value for searching the uh, value again suppose you see i want to search uh, value number 10 so when you are applying the 10 mod 7 your index uh, hash value is 3 so uh, directly our program will access the index number 3 then it can access the data suppose i want to find out the 55 so right so 55 mod uh, 7 you will get uh, here uh, 6 is the index mr6 is the hash value uh, so when you are accessing that uh, 6 when you are accessing there is no 55 this is not matching this so what can we say we can say data not found so this is the way to search the value right uh, to delete the value also same thing suppose if i want to find out the data uh, uh, 3 so uh, 3 mod 7 uh, equal to 3 so when we will access the index number 3 but data is not matching uh, to delete that so we can say uh, data is not found if it is 10 mod 7 uh, to delete then you can access this uh, third index so uh, 10 is accessed then you can uh, delete this by uh, using the delete operation uh, this is the way to use the uh, quadratic probing for uh, inserting uh, deleting and searching the keys thanks for watching